Okay, I'm just taking away what I had before and uh, taking it down to the bare essentials and then start adding on. Gonna have to adjust my light there. have to turn the heat on in the studio because it's getting cold in here the clay is getting hard or stiff it doesn't harden it never hardens but it will get harder to work with because it gets hard heavy stiffer I'm, that's the word i'm trying to come up with when i work with it and uh i'm gonna have to turn the heat on it's 48 degrees outside and uh, I'm thinking fall is hitting and winter is coming. Okay, what I'm trying to do is angle him even more than I've got. You can see I've got a piece of wood underneath the base of the horse uh, here. And I've attached that to another board so I can even raise him up even higher now i gotta figure out a way to anchor this to now you can board. see the extreme that i've gone to to uh, raise him to a certain angle and uh i've got a wedge in here between the original base of this horse and a piece of wood and I got this piece of wood at an angle so that I can raise him even more there's just so much I can do with a small board so I had to figure out how to do this with another board underneath the board that I've already got it is confusing but it all works kind of and I got a lot of sawdust which I got to blow off because if I don't It'll get in the clay. I've got pretty good references for a biting horse. And uh, I've got it for this. And then I've got it. Uh, I've gone through and got as many pictures as I can find to show the uh, it, what the face of the horse looks like when it's doing this sort of thing. All right. Now, the disappear. mouth of this horse got smashed at some point, uh, so I've got to re-sculpt the, the thing and uh, try to redo this. The whole damn thing was smashed. Now, remember, this is a clay that's two years old so this just shows how nice this uh plastiline holds up i'm still able to work with the clay that was put on this thing two years ago and uh this is the jaw which would actually show more because of the uh, fact that the mouth is wide open here sounds like the ambulance is coming back i always say a little prayer when i hear a siren that whatever it's for that the people involved are going to be okay
I was only in an ambulance once back in the 1960s. A buddy of mine and I wanted to go see the new Jaguar XKE, which had just come out that year. The first ones. I don't know what year it was, but in the 60s, though. And I was on the back of a Triumph motorcycle, and he, we were driving down to uh, the car dealership in Salt Lake City to see it. And uh, we came up to a stoplight, and uh, we had a red light, but a person driving a uh, Rambler with weird fins coming out of the back of it made a sudden stop in front of the uh, short of where they should have for the stoplight, and we ran right into the back end of it, and I went flying through the air and broke my leg and landed on the s street. I remember looking up at people looking at me laying there in the street, <laughs> and uh, they, they were loading me up in a ambulance and at the same time I was hearing a grinding noise and it was a news guy inside the ambulance aiming a camera at me being loaded into the uh, ambulance. And the funny thing is my mom was driving right by the accident scene and she thought to herself, boy that boy has a shirt just like my son's. Of course she freaked out when she found out it was me. That was the only time I was ever in an Well, no, I was in an ambulance again. In the 1990s, I rolled my van. And uh, had to be taken to the hospital in Bozeman. This is the upper part of his jaw that's uh, protruding. Oops. Pushed a little too hard. Now I gotta fix that mistake. Okay, I'm just going to apply a little Ronsonol to the horse's face to smooth it out a little bit in places. The Ronsonol reacts to the, uh, or the clay reacts to the Ronsonol. And it softens up the clay a little bit, which takes care of any little rough areas that you might have and you don't want. I'll come back tomorrow and work on the other side of the face. I'm not going to put the teeth in his mouth yet. I want to see how close the mouth is going to be to the neck and if he's got the teeth buried in the neck or not. I can't uh, finish that until I know that part. So I'm going to have to say goodnight, people. And I'll pick this up tomorrow. If I hadn't spent so much time trying to get this thing positioned in a way so I could work on it. I probably could have done a little bit more today. All right. See you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos. That could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.